Metal edge terminations, C1.1 options one and two. There are several different options to flash a metal edge termination on any of the Versico systems. We are going to show you one of the two most popular. Option one. This option utilizes minimum nine inch wide RTS for adhered, ballasted, and mechanically attached systems. Place a mark on the insulation a minimum of three inches in from the edge of the flange to determine the width of the RTS. The overall measurement must allow complete coverage of the wood nailer. Position the nine inch wide RTS along the marks on the insulation. Adjoining sections of the RTS must be overlapped and seamed together a minimum of three inches using standard splicing procedures. Position the metal flange and fasten often enough to prevent buckling or pulling free. Position the deck membrane to completely cover the flange. Pull back the membrane to expose the RTS. Prime both the metal and the RTS with Versico primer. After passing the tack test, apply two pieces of three inch wide QA seam tape in accordance with detail C-2.2. When two pieces of three inch wide tape are used, one piece is applied adjacent to the metal on the RTS strip, and the other is applied on top of the metal. This can also be accomplished by using one piece of six inch wide QA seam tape applied to the same areas. Apply primer to the membrane with a four inch wide roller at the appropriate coverage rate. Prior to mating the surfaces together, perform the tack test. Peel the poly and roll the splice together. Apply hand pressure towards the leading edge of the splice. Roll the splice with a two inch wide steel roller. Option two. The second option uses quick applied cured cover strip. Position the deck membrane to completely cover the face of the wood nailer and fasten the membrane with ring shank nails. Position the metal flange and fasten often enough to prevent buckling or pulling free. Prepare the splice area with an approved primer. As soon as the primer flashes off, Center the quick applied cured cover strip over the edge of the metal flange and set the flashing to completely cover the flange and extend onto the roof membrane, a minimum of two inches. Peel the clear poly and wipe the flashing with hand pressure to remove any trapped air. Roll the seam with a two inch wide steel roller. Lap sealant is only required at seam intersections, beneath T-joints, metal joints, and flashing overlaps.